My name is Michael Taylor. I'm Senior Director of International Affairs and Trade for SPI, which is the Plastics Industry Trade Association in the United States. And we celebrated our 75th anniversary last year, and we really are the Plastics Trade Association in the U.S. because if you look at our more than a thousand member companies, we represent all segments of the industry. So we have material suppliers, we have the equipment manufacturers, the mold makers, and the processors. And then last year, we added a new council to our governing structure focused on OEMs and brand owners. And we already had some OEMs and brand owners as members, but now we're trying to recruit even more. So for instance, in just the last year, we added Boston Scientific, uh, John Deere and Clorox, just to give a few examples. Um, at any rate, uh, I think when you look at trade associations in the United States, because we represent not just, we represent all of the plastics industry, but of course we also represent chemical companies and brand owners, we represent more of the supply chain than a lot of other trade associations, which is a little bit unusual. As far as our participation here at Plast Division, um, we are leading a trade mission, so we have some of our member companies here exploring the Indian market, trying to figure out what uh, opportunities might be for them, and obviously we have a strategic partnership with AIPMA, and they've been helping us in terms of matchmaking and putting together a, an agenda for our companies here on the trade mission. And larger than that, we have a very good global partnership with them. In fact, we have a memorandum of understanding. Um, they're uh, promoting one of our environmental in, uh, initiatives called Operation Clean Sweep. So we have a very good, close relationship with the Indian Association. Um, as far as the outlook for the U.S. plastics industry, uh, I would say it's a very positive. The economic fundamentals of the industry are very good. Uh, 2010, we had very significant growth um, for the industry. In 2011, um, the export growth was not quite as high, and mostly that was because um, of the U.S. government not really governing very well when it comes to uh, fiscal and budgetary matters. And so that put a bit of a drag on the growth of the industry. Um, as far as uh, 2012, it looks like the export growth has rebounded, and 2013 is ahead of 2012 year to date, and we anticipate even higher growth rates in 2014. And if you look at our trade show that we do every three years, MPE, which is up to